Uh, welcome to Shake Talk. Uh, today we are joined kind of by a very special guest to me. Uh, for as long as I've been in the lipedema world, I've known this woman. And um, she, for me personally, has been a big source of information, a resource that, that I will personally go to very often before I'm going to other pages. Um, Cheryl Skolage is with me today, and I'm sure many of you know her. Uh, she has a, a number of social media initiatives, and she is a member of my new group. Um, but yeah, Cheryl really has been a huge wealth of information. Um, you know, not only is she a great person, um, but she puts a little more effort into some of her information. The links are there. there there's always something to validate what, what she's speaking to. And for those of you that spend enough time surfing the internet, I, I think you appreciate how accurate the information is that she shares and, and accessible is a big thing. Um, there's nothing worse than going to read something and you're spending the rest of the night. Where is it? Or, um, you know, it's privately blocked. So Cheryl has a, a few places um, that, that you can connect with her. And, and I just want to introduce Cheryl and, and ask you um, where we can find you, what, what drives you. And, and I know you've got one main page that I refer to. Tell us a little bit about who Cheryl is. Well, thank you. And oh my goodness, Deb, you are just so incredible to me. And she is really flattering me because let me tell you, when I first met Deb, she was the rock star at the FDRS conference and everyone was flocking to her booth to try out the vibration machine that, that she had at the time. So uh, I, I'm very humbled, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, well, one of the places to, to come find me is my Lipedema Diva page. Um, I have a lipedemadiva.com and I'm also on Facebook as Lipedema Diva. Um, but one of the first places that I um, started was a Facebook group called Lipedema and Food Sensitivities. Um, and just to let you know, you can take control of your lipedema. Yes. Um, so one of the things that, that um, I'm very passionate about is food sensitivities, but all of the other things that we can do for lipedema, and one of them, of course, is all the different types of vibration, vibration plates, and what we'll be talking about today, vibration guns. Yes. We brought our guns today. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so if any of you out there haven't joined the group, please do uh, look us up, uh, Lipedema and Food Sensitivities. Um, there's a couple of other groups out there that I run as well. Um, so if you do Lipedema Diva, you'll see those come up as well. Okay. But look there forward to seeing you. found through Lipedema Diva? Yes. So uh, Lipedema Diva... Um, there'll be a, a link to my flow page. It, so that's flow.page slash Lipedema Diva. And that particular page has all of the different links in one spot. So that's a great place to what we'll to do. Um, after I turn this into a video in our, our media files as well, we'll put some links uh, to Cheryl's uh, main page that I uh, recommend most. Many of you have referred to her page already through my group, but I'll, I'll put a tag to that group so you can find her easily without having to type all that in. Um, <laughs> and that's kind of... You know why you're here today? I, I kind of bombed your group one night last fall. <laughs> um, you know, I'll get into the guns, and and I'll, I I had a company that I'm doing some training and some blog articles for that approached me and said, Deb, you know, do you know any groups on Facebook that you know you could give a couple hundred massage guns away to that would actually give you some honest feedback? And I thought, well, do I have a group that comes to mind? And I think at that time. Like, I know you're close to 7,000, but you had a little over like 62, 6,300, something on your page. And um, unfortunately, it was a giveaway uh, through Amazon in the U.S. only. I, I wish I could give guns away to everybody. But um, although she was reluctant, I, I did nag Cheryl and said, you have to get a gun. It's your page. <laughs> I, need, I need someone with lumps and bumps and lipedema issues, as I do not have. Something in my gut was telling me these, these guns were something to explore. So... Tell us yeah. how your journey started with this. Well, you know, I, uh, before the offer came along, um, I had been seeing in a lot of the groups talk about massage guns. And, you know, I just kept reading the, the different talks about it. And I'm going, just another thing for us to spend money on. Oh, my goodness. You know, and I'm thinking of all of the things that I have in my closet that, you know, maybe I had high hopes for at one point And, you know, it's kind of been... It pushed over to the side, yes. So I, um, I was I, I was 
pretty hesitant um, thinking about, well, you know, how could a massage gun really help? Um, but the more I looked into it, what a massage gun can do is it can get to those deeper tissue layers and help to break up fibrosis. And that's something that, that's really important for us with, with lipedema. Um, the longer that our, the fluid, the lymph fluid is stagnant in the interstitial spaces, um, that fibrosis starts growing um, and leads to our uh, further stages with lipedema. Um, so if we can work to help to break up that fibrosis and hopefully that material can get into our lymph system and, and out. So, you know, maybe even a combination, use the, the uh, massage gun to help break up some fibrosis and then use a vibration plate to get it to move through the system and, and out of your system. Um, you know, it, trying to think what through pumps? therapies like think that. Pumps would serve a good purpose as well. Anything you're using I, for the purpose? Yeah, I do. Um, I, I do think that um, it, the pumps tend to do that same type of um, uh, a, a benefit to get that lymph fluid so could, out of the legs. I was kind of thinking gun, you know, not everybody's got a plate, but if you do have, exactly, um, you know, pumps, that would, you know, to just help that flush. It, would, yeah. would the massage gun be similar? Like, you know, if you didn't have a massage gun, what methods would one, you know, would it be manual massage, yeah. you know, um, and, you know, obviously a different effect, but, you know, is, is that what would have commonly been your go-to prior? Um, some of the things that I had been looking into, um, I, I was looking into cupping and specifically I was using uh, meta cupping early on. Um, I had a therapist who was able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the things that I found to do cupping on myself very difficult is often it's done on the back. And so, you know, it's a possible to get back over there and yeah um and so uh, my therapist was opening up the lymph channels through the back to help that flow get through um, um and so um i have a cupping set and i i can do cupping maybe so i'll do it on my legs and and help to kind of break up some of that fibrosis um i have some uh gua shua, gua shua tools I'm not yeah. sure that I'm saying that quite right, but uh, I'm sure you all get the idea. Yeah. Um, I haven't tried Gaston, but that's another technique. Um, to me, it looks very similar to the Gua Shua, where okay. you, you can implement and you kind of scrape the skin. Um, um, deep, um, I, and I remember uh, Karen, Dr. Karen Hertz talked a lot about um, deep tissue massage. So uh, quadrivaris is a technique that's used in Sweden. Um, it's not very widespread, so very difficult to find, yeah. obviously. But if you can kind of mimic a deep tissue massage to try to get in and break up some of those uh, fibrotic tissues, some of those lumps and bumps that we have. Now, it can be really painful when you start with any of these therapies. Um, but if you can try to start slow, I think you will also find, as I did, that the more you do it, as that starts breaking up, the less painful it becomes over time. Okay. So tell us when you started. So the, the, the gun, you know, it's certainly, I, I never, there is never one thing for every person and every situation in my experience. Very true. But, yeah. I would imagine there are some advantages to having the gun, you know, going to see a massage therapist isn't yes. an option for everyone. Um, it and can be very fun. expensive, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, you know, everybody thinks up here in Canada, we got all this free health care, but none of that stuff is covered. And, um, you know, something like this, you know, you, I, I guess, you know, many of us are so locked up at home you know, the, the big self-care thing, which I, I know you guys talk to death over, um, I, I would think this would prevent, present some other options. So um, yeah. tell us how you started with it. Um, well, I first started, it, well, when I read through the, the booklet, one of the things that I was really excited to read is that the gun can be used over clothing. And that was one thing that I found very difficult uh, with some of the other uh, therapies that I was trying. 
the cupping and the gua sha and et cetera, because typically those are done on bare skin. So, you know, we're wearing compression, right? It's hard enough to get our compression on, right, everyone? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. to, to, to even find the time to take off the compression, figure out what you're gonna wear during that time period that you're doing the therapy. Um, typically you need to use uh, some type of oil. So that now you're oiling your skin, so you got to wash off your skin after you're done with the therapy. Uh, so all of these little things kind of build up. Whereas with the massage gun, during the day, five minutes as you're walking past wherever you have your gun, you pick it up, and you know you can just do it even as you're moving, uh, you know, through your house. Use it for five minutes, and then put it down, and do it again five minutes. You know, another five minutes. Um, later on in the day. Convenience is so, what I'm hearing. Convenience. Ex and, and I think the easier it is, the, not only the more likely, but the more often, you know, you might, you, you know, I'm yes. a big fan with the vibe machines. And now with the guns, you know, a lot of people say, well, how often or when, when should I, whenever your body tells, you know, for you, it might, maybe your hips bugging you and you got to go for a walk or maybe, maybe you're going for some cupping therapy and you just want to loosen up certain body parts before you get in the car. So yeah. um, I, I, going back uh, to what you said earlier about, you know, any type of therapy is going to be, um, you know, not only new and, and we learn, you know, how to apply our own, you know, sometimes when we're trying new things, you know, we, we make ourselves sore. I don't want to use the word injure, but we overdo it just because we're not experienced with how our body's going to react to it yet. Um, but most, most of the ladies, I, I really try to tell them to start on a conservative basis but even conservative has a, a big gray area depending on what you're dealing with. But I know Cheryl is dealing with a few issues. Uh, she certainly got the food under, under wraps, but you, you did have some discomfort for sure, I think, when you first started. Yes, I did. Um, you know, it, we often talk about how the lipedema fat is painful. Um, and I don't know if I kind of ignore some of it or, or, or just what, but, you know, some of my joint pain it is where a lot of my attention goes to. Okay. Um, so I don't necessarily notice the, the pain. It's secondary. And, it, it's secondary, yeah. Okay. Um, and one of the things that, that did happen when I first used the gun is it did kind of awaken that pain, um, in particular uh, in the hip area. Um, uh, but it, it's kind of hard to describe it. It's almost like a good pain because it, it kept kind of coaxing you to grab that massage gun again and to use it again. And, and, you know, after, uh, you know, and, and it did take a couple of days, but it did kind of help to work out that pain after, um, a, a little bit. Um, but what yeah, that was very interesting were that it kind of much woke bruising? in that pain. Were, were you I did not experience uh, bruising with the gun, no. Okay. Um, and I have experienced bruising with other therapies. Um, one that really surprised me was the vibration machine. And I remember reaching out to, to you early on when uh, that happened. And I was like, hmm, what's this about? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, Interesting. Um, uh, you know, what, what's weird, and, and just as I was asking you that I'm trying to think out loud, I don't think I've had anyone, I have had uh, a couple of women in my time, maybe because I've been using them longer, but I, I have seen bruising from time to time um, on the vibration machines. I have seen that with running and jogging with this community as well, for the same kind of reason it would happen. But right. I haven't had many women come back complaining about bruises, and I kind of expected I would have more. So it'll be interesting to That's see if comments point. feedback if, if people are getting bruising. Yeah. Um, I think if you are, you, you kind of just hit the nail on the head. It's kind of that hurts so good feeling. Like it hurts, mm -hmm. but it's it's a good hurt. And and yeah. I have a tendency, you know, I, I don't have lipedema, but I, I do have a tendency to bruise easy. And, you know, some days, like I'm really bad, like I'll wedge it into between the couch cushions and I'll like, <laughs> and I have, I, I've, I, I've overdone it, but I, like you, I think when you deal with, you know, you, I have chronic tension issues and arthritis, you have chronic, sometimes 
the, the pain on a scale of one to 10 is up there, but because you're, you're managing that pain constantly, you know, it's kind of like a relationship. It, it really, you know, yeah. it's kind of always there. It's always nagging and, you know, you cope it was sometimes too yeah. much. Um, so that the caution would be, you know, hurt so good, but you know, don't feel you have to suck it up. And, and I think the big lesson with these, just like the vibe plates is less is more often, you know? So like you, you, Cheryl said, perfect. You know, I think you were like three to five minutes and that, you know, you mm -hmm. can do more later, you know? Um, and, and I think the, the, the more often the fact that everybody's stuck at home will make it easier, but the fact that you're not having to take the compressions off, put them back on, put the oil on. Um, there are some tips and Cheryl and I get into, uh, I'm going to get her to show us some, some best practice massage gun moves. Um, but I'm going to show you some of the different tips that come with a couple of the guns I've got. And I don't think there's any, you know, this is the best tip for, for, for fibrosis. And this is the best, I think it gets really back down to that sensitivity thing. And the best thing I can do is tell you to encourage you to experiment but like other things that, that Cheryl has mentioned, the cupping, the manual self-massage, drink your water. There, there's a lot of activity, even though it's going on maybe in a localized area. I think you can attest to this. You know, last night, hubby's neck was, was bugging him. And it's so funny, you know, for all the years that I've been in everything else, this is the one thing. <laughs> it's every day in some way, shape or form. But I sort of doing his neck there last night. And, you know, next thing I know, like I'm doing the house, you know, it, it was 20 minutes later, you know, and, and it, for him to come downstairs, get on the table or the chair and, you know, it's this big, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. You know, but this, you know, sit forward on the couch and wait, you know. So, and the other thing I, I do like about some of their models is, is loudness. So we'll go over a couple of the models. Some of them are louder than others I have found. And um, not everybody is, but some of my gals here are sensitive, you know, to sound. If it's going to mm, be a mm -hmm. long time, sometimes that can be an issue. Um yeah. You've, Cheryl's got a similar gun. Uh, the series yep. that you have is a Sonic. Yeah, mm -hmm. mine is a, a different, mine is the the light one. Cheryl's is, is the regular one. Um, as far as the capability, there's those couple of specs I'll talk about quick first and then I'll get Cheryl to show some moves. So there's, there's two main things with a massage gun. There is an amplitude. So the amplitude is like how much it's moving, just like on a vibration machine, how much you're moving. So it's how much this, this driver is moving up and down. The other is the RPM. So the, the revolutions per minute, which I of course have to think in vibration machine terms, but there's, there's a Hertz. So you take that number and if you divide it by 60, it'll actually show you the frequency. So this, you know, this gun, like a vibration machine, it might have 20 Hertz or it might have 30 Hertz or what have you. Um, just make sure if you are looking at massage guns, and of course, I'm going to drop some suggestions and some discounts today, but um, most of them have an adjustable range. Um, and, and the big thing I, I, I found personally, and I don't know if Cheryl will agree with me on this, I find it easier and more comfortable to go faster with a little mm -hmm. less pressure, just like the machines, go faster with the feet closer. So faster, less movement being instead of starting with the machine and it's drilling into my skin, I kind of hold it just off the surface. Maybe I should turn it on for a visual effect, eh? Okay. Of course, I'm not going to do this properly on camera. Okay. So on a really slow, like the first speed, you can almost see it moving on camera. Okay. Then the next one, it starts becoming a little fuzzy. That's the second. Mine's got five speeds, but it'll get up to a point and it's not even... I don't know if you can hear it or not. It's not that loud. Cheryl's got a different tip on hers. Um, what I'll do is, is I'll let you show me. This is just the standard ball one that comes with, but I, I do like the tip that you're using. Um, I'll, I'll let Cheryl start, but her kit would look similar to this. They're going to come with a bunch of different heads and a little manual and a little carry case you can take with you. Let's see here. Yes. So yeah, your charge cord, your ends. And you're like in the flat tip by the looks of it. So tell me, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's your session. You're going to sit down. Let, let, let's do something we can show on camera. What would that look like if you were doing movements on your arm? Well, it, and I have my really long sleeve shirt here. But. Yep, that's okay. Because you can do it over clothing. Right. It, so usually I go at least, let's see, that's 35 hertz. I go between 35 or 50 hertz. Yep. And so the higher I speeds kinda, are more comfortable. Keep, just really like I just kind of keep moving it. Yeah. Okay. Um, the gun really does a lot of the work. And so to me, that's really pretty 
nice. Um, you, you know, you don't have to try to do this, right? Do you find, that... I said, the last thing you want to be is all wiped out after holding it for 10, 15 minutes. Exactly. I'm getting some feedback from some ladies, and I have found this myself. You know, at first it was a little bit encumbersome, but, you know, by week two or week three, hanging on to it for long periods and the vibration of the gun itself, it wasn't that taxing on my hand and my arm. Are you yeah. finding that too? That it's, I think it's making the hand stronger. It, hmm. That I'll have to think about. Just imagine. Um, but um, I, I think I've mentioned on uh, some of my other videos and whatever, um, I have been having a lot of issues with my hands. Um, it, trouble gripping items, holding on to items. Um, well, even just getting the compression on, it, it's really kind of pulling on my thumbs and, and yeah. hurting my thumbs in particular. Um, and to me, this gun isn't that bad. Uh, most of the vibration is up in the head and not down in the in the so you're handle. You're not finding it hard to hang on to for periods, and you it's, can and you can probably maneuver. You like you can't do every like I can reach everywhere, but it's not the same as. Yeah. You know, I get Dan, my hubby, to do the back or the neck or whatever. But it, you mm -hmm. know, it is manageable to a degree. Your your range of motion is pretty damn good, though, too. Yeah. It, like I say, and I, so, I you know, that's pretty wild. Attachment so I can put it on the wall and, you know, just get my... <laughs> <laughs> Someday, maybe I'll make a little hole in my drywall and build something to... But, um, well, that's great. And you're probably... We were talking about this before we went on live here. Probably month two, two and a half. You did have a little bit of a break there, but... What, yep. what have you noticed with prolonged use? So the first week it was weird and new and probably a little bit achy to a degree. What, what started happening yep. with continued use? Yeah, um, for me after a while, um, it, that it, pain started to go away. And, and so, you know, that was really pretty nice. Um, you know, it, it always nice not to have pain. So. Yeah. Um, it, now, there wasn't a particular uh, bump or lump or anything. So, you know, it was really just kind of in general. Yeah. Um, uh, but it did seem that maybe the fat was a little softer after that, too, that. Liquefying that, it a bit somehow. Um, yeah. What about, I know that you did take a, a bit of a break and I think you were surprised that things were okay when you did that. Yeah, um, I believe I took a break maybe, um, at, er, you know, kind of early-ish on uh, for a, about a week. And so I really expected that pain to come back. Um, and for me, it, it didn't at that time. Um, now, more recently, I've taken a longer break and, you know, I, I can kind of feel it again. Okay. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, so it did tend to keep it away for the short term, at least. Yeah. And, and who knows, six months to a year down the road. You know, the, the one thing I stress with, with you know, so, to Cheryl's point earlier, if it's been clogged in that tissue for a long time and it gets, you know, it's, it's taken a long time for the, the hard junk in the trunk and it's going to take time not only to break it down, but to dissipate it through the system. And one big yeah. thing that everybody's always in fear of is, okay, well, what if I break it all up in my feet and now it's up in my calves? Well, happens you know until it kind of works its way through your system i can't guarantee that you're not going to move it from one place to the other but i i can say the big feedback i've got from many of the ladies using the guns it is moving and the other common thing that i'm hearing back a lot is it does seem like you know whether it's uh, just a deposit of a uh, in the tissue or an actual fibroid it does seem to be softening and and breaking up um some of that tissue um, how long it's going to take to flow through your system, you know, is, is again, going to be a little bit different for everybody. Food is a big part of that hydration yeah. and rest and all those other things. But, um, yeah. you know, when I, when I first started playing with these, to me, it was kind of a no brainer for, for my, uh, fat disorders group, because there's just so many things, a, that you're having to take care of on your own at home now with that lack of access to services. But again, it, the big thing was not having to take the clothes off. It seems like a simple little thing, but um, so many of my women, I just remember from being at the FDRS shows the two years in a row, I don't remember her name, but there was one lady, she didn't pack her pump the first time in, in Dallas there. 
and every morning she would show up and she'd just sit on the machine for 10 minutes. And if I had about 50 of these people in the lineup could have been getting prepped, if you will. But I, I think, you know, we know vibration is good. Sometimes between the, the professionals and the experts out there, they get one-sided in this kind or that kind because it's, you know, what they've taught and what they've known. And um, yeah. for me, it's always about finding that affordable alternative. So there's yeah. lots of different massage guns out there. Um, I completely fell into this brand via accident. Um, I was doing some inquiring on vibration machines, but I am familiar with Hyperice, Hypervolt. Um, there's also the Theragun's a big, there's lots of big brands out there, but um, I have my way of comparing specifications on the motors and, you know, for 20% or 30% of the price, I'm very happy with, with this company and, and Amazon brands, um, you, you still have to do your homework, but what I like about Life Pro in particular is, is they are accessible in, in the UK, uh, in Canada, and a, a lot of the people from both of our groups. There's nothing worse I hate about promoting something and it's, oh, we don't have it in Canada or, oh, I can't get it in the UK. And, and that happens a lot. You know, the States is the Mecca, but um, something like this, um, I wanted to show you. So Cheryl's is similar to this. Um, I think we're, we're taught, I think Cheryl's retail is about a, 120 bucks. I think this one's about 140. So they're affordable. Cheryl had another good point, you know, with a lot of the things that we work with, depending on the price point, you know, if it's not something you, you can afford, then it's the whole going through insurance. And I, I'm sure trying to get one of these validated through insurance companies, they're going to laugh at you as much as they would about a vibration machine. So there are more affordable options. Um, I was showing Cheryl this one on camera. This is just to give you a difference. Yes, that's okay. so cute. You know, this is, this is, I would say, it's so freaking cute. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> just to give you, okay. Now, same amount of juice as in this gun, but in a smaller version. A couple of, this one's uh, under a hundred bucks. So that's the reason I bring it up. Um, it's an all steel casing. So I do feel it more on my hand than the larger model because there's more gun absorbing it. Um, not that that's a bad thing. This one doesn't have as many heads, but it has the flat one, which is what I'm finding most of the ladies in this group like for, for those areas. Um, it's yeah. also got the ball. Um, it's got this little rubber knobby one. Um, I, I have put some essential oils on that one and whatnot. Um, but it's a little bit more affordable. It's a little bit more portable. Um, and they're all lithium battery charges. Um, this one here, it says it has a three hour battery, but I forgot to charge it, um, this morning before our session. I've been using this thing for a week and a half and I can guarantee I've used it more than three hours. So, um, I, I think depending on the speed, if you're using top speed, your battery is probably not going to last as long as if you're using, but, um, for the most part, I'm, I'm probably, I don't know about you, I'm maybe 15, 20 minutes a day, depending on, I tend to do my neck and my shoulders and, and my elbows and, and my arms. Um, one thing I did want to talk about to see if Cheryl agrees, because um, I was snooping through all of Dr. Herb's old stuff when I got into these. And one of the, one of the techniques she mentioned is doing, you know, that, that circular motion. You know, you're supposed to do, you know, depending on how sensitive you are, but it's really easy. And I'll turn this one back on just to give you the visual. <laughs> that would decide to a little go. slower so you can see it on camera but again i just want to stress you see how it's not on my skin uh -huh. it's just skimming my skin whereas if you start with the skin you might notice you know in those areas that have a little less meat you know and bones um one of the things i've noticed uh, when you're hitting a bone or something like it kind of kicks back but i'm also noticing that's identifying tension spots sometimes or lumps when the bun, like when the it, it feels like the gun's kind of slipping or sliding. If you're not coming straight on and you're coming at a bit of an angle, sometimes that's another way to do it too. It's a little softer. But what I find in my neck and shoulders, if I if I hit a bone or something, it's almost like the gun kicks back. And and I thought I was mm -hmm. pressing too hard. But what I'm finding is that's how tight the muscles are in some places. And I've had a few ladies with the guns when they're hitting tough spots or lumps. The gun kicks back a little bit. So one of the things that we've been doing is working around the edges of the lump, kind of like a cinnamon bun. So get the, the tissue around it warmed up and ready to move shit stuff, pardon me, and then bring it a little <laughs> closer into the middle and then work your way 
back out. That that's just one thing that a, a few gals have showed me. Um, when you are working with, you know, especially with my Durkums guys, where you're, you're you've got them all over. Um, a lot of them have been working around the lump and then coming in towards, you know, the the instinct would be to go right for the lump and give her. But if you kind of pre prep the area around it warm up the tissue, the blood, and get it flowing. I, I'm wondering if it doesn't help with the pain when you're first starting out a little bit. And I don't want everybody thinking you're going to experience pain, but um, I do want to caution for this group because nothing's normal. Everything's always different. Um, and, and, you know, Cheryl hit the, the nail on the head with a point she made earlier. When you, when you live with chronic pain, whether it's from lipedema or, or other medical conditions, you kind of just, it's always there. You know, it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. Um, yeah. And if you've got other issues, like the, the joint issues you're dealing with, I, I've had a number of spinal, um, you know, low back, things like that. You know, sometimes, you know, the, the really bad train, pain trumps the other pains, but you, you can't forget about it. And if you do notice when you start using, you know, vibration or, or any activity that you're starting, you know, as things are being used for the first time, you may notice um, a couple of things on the, on the pain side increase. You might notice fatigue increase. You might notice pain increase. Those are, to me, usually indications to boot back off in time, not so much intensity or what you're doing, but it's really easy to go 10 minutes. And even on the machines, a lot of, you know, oh, you know, I was, I was talking with a gal the other day on the phone and we hadn't even really got doing anything yet. And she had some questions and boom, the machine turned off. I'm like, oh, we already went 15 <laughs> minutes. Let's sit down for the rest of it. So less is more, more often. And um is there any, did you have any spooks or scares? You didn't have any issues with it that way? I can't really think of anything. Um, it, we were talking about uh, the different tips and I do yeah. like this one. Uh, this one does uh, seem to get into the deep tissue. Um, okay. and so that's one of the reasons that I, I really like the, um, the flathead one. I think the energy is over a bigger surface, whereas even yes. with the ball, it's in, more centered in, in the middle. And yep, um, that one's nice too for essential oils because it's mm. hard, it's hard plastic. So if you did want to put oils on and, and massage with lavender or what, you know, peppermint or whatever your go-to might be, um, it washes easily. Uh, some of the foam head ones and that you may not want to do. And um, the other thing with, with this series of guns is that they, they have replacement parts. So a lot of times when I'm buying toys off of Amazon, new models out next month and I can't, you know, maybe I lost the cord or maybe I lost one of the tips. So I, I notice on their site, you know, if you do lose your power cord or you, you know, you've lost your tip or like some people have reported their dog um, got a hold of it. I've had that couple of, I've got one lady, she's got like these teeth marks all over the <laughs> handle of her gun. So if you know something happens, um, you can get replacements without having to buy a whole new gun. That that really bothers me when I, you know, when I have to buy a whole new thing because I was stupid and didn't put it all back in the case. So, um, and and there's lots out there. Like I say, I would suggest, you know, a good general, you know, because everybody's got different tolerances. But the, the big thing is is the amplitude when you're comparing these these online. Um, this one is 11 millimeters. Cheryl's is 11 millimeters. Most guns are going to be anywhere from about nine to 12. Some of the more intense ones where you see the big triangle handles, the bigger thumpers, they've got as much as 15 mils. And I have that gun as well for me. And I've got tolerance galore. Um, I found it a little too much. And this summer, um, I have three different guns. I have the little one, this one, and, and the bigger gun. Uh, we were out camping with my family and my son and I, my son's all into these. We charged them up and we went out and we were massaging everybody. And I've got a lot of big rig guys in, in my life and they couldn't take the big gun. And I got all these women that are like, oh, I... <laughs> so I, I think <laughs> if you're looking for a general, you, you know, the lipedema and women in general, we have a higher tolerance for pain. We know this. So if you're looking for general use in the house, something around 11, 12 millimeters, I think you'll be most happy with. Um, I wouldn't buy a 15, 16 mil, mil gun as my only gun. So I would buy the, a more, you know, a stronger or a lesser one as a secondary gun or, you know, for special applications, but for general everyday use, I think you're going to find that 11 or 10 to 12 millimeters, um, as far as the amount of distance, most comfortable for everyday use. That, that's just my two cents. Um, I figured the opposite, you know, a bigger bang for your buck, but I just found it not only too intense this way, but guns with more amplitude, they're going to be heavier. This one's 1.1 pound. 
My big gun is 2.2, so it's double the weight. It's, you know, I just thought they might be more encumbersome. So those are, that's just my, and they tend to be more expensive. So the bigger the gun, the more cost too. So um, that 10 to 12 mil range, look at the weight of the gun. Um, I think Cheryl's yours is like 1.3 or what. So, you know, anything under a pound and a half is probably manageable. Once you, you know, you might get more power, but they start becoming, you know, it's like trying to carry a little kettlebell around. So that that's just my advice. And um, anything else you'd like to share today? Um, hmm. Let's no. see. That's okay. We don't have to. <laughs> I, I would love to do a, another shake with Cheryl um, on, on other topics and other devices another day, but I, I can't thank you enough. Um, if you guys knew, oh, thanks for having me. I, I wish I could explain my anxiety the, the night when I posted on your page because I, I don't normally post on people's pages with, without permission, and you were kind enough to to not approve my posts for reasons in the past. So I just thought I'm going to do it, and I can ask for forgiveness in the morning and. Um, <laughs> You know, not, not only that you allowed me to post it on your page, but the, that you became one of the recipients. You validated it. It wasn't a scam. There was a few tricks to get through and you had to get a PayPal thing. So it, it was a bit encumbersome on the process itself, but the, it did materialize. It was for free. You probably get a few extra emails now, but I, I, I'm so glad that you were willing. And, and even more so, I love it when I experiment and things work out. So I'm glad this, yeah. you know, this, this was something you were kind of looking into. I, I was really pleased to be able to validate that for you. Yeah. I'm so thrilled that so many women were able to, to take uh, advantage of the offer and, and go ahead and get one. Um, I, I am hoping that it's still helping all of them as well. And, you know, one of the things that I was very impressed with um, Life Pro as well, because they have just so many videos, so many training opportunities. Um, the, the, the little manual that came with it, I started crying when I read the manual. I, I mean, it, it was just so sweet. And they were like, oh, we're here for you. It, I, I don't know the exact wording they had, but I was like, oh, oh, oh this is awesome. They're, they're awesome. It's but, it, yeah. There is something that, you know, and again, you know, you and I both recommend products to people and, and, you know, I'm not the company, you're not the company, but there's nothing worse mm -hmm. than, you know, me being happy and, 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 and sharing something and a breakdown occurs or, you know, you know, I understand problems happen, but they've been very seamless in any issues that I have do and, and, and resolved. So, I mean, if, if, if I've got someone in this community, that's, you know, this is their lifeline and it's not working or you have questions, uh, they've always been very uh, receptive. So, you know, I'm only as good as the, the support and the team behind me too. Right. So, and, and same with your products, you know, I mean, you might have the yeah. best product in the world, but if the company and the infrastructure isn't there, it's really, it's really hard to recommend sometimes, you know, even though it might be the best product, there's, there's great products out there and there's a lot of companies I have an opportunity to represent, but sometimes the best thing isn't always what can be validated. You know, at the end of the night, I got to sleep, you know, I want my, my customers. And if I'm putting my name on something, I want you you're trusting my recommendation, darn it. So I want to make sure that, um, you know, it's, it's not keeping me up at night wondering if you got a phone call back. So that's awesome. That's awesome. And I, you know, we might do a, a redo here uh, once you get back in the mode and, and, and do that and perhaps uh, another video vibration plate or food uh, related down the road, Cheryl. Sounds okay. wonderful. Thank well, you so, so much, much for, for your time. <laughs> um, it took a, a little bit of time to get this together. Cheryl and I, Cheryl and I have been busy chicks here the last week or two. So thank you very much. And if you do have any questions uh, related to massage guns, uh, please feel free to put them on the comments in this video. And uh, myself or I, I might tag Cheryl. Um, she's probably more of an expert as far as use than I am uh, because she can relate to a lot of the conditions that you guys are dealing with. But we are going to have some other interviews coming up. Uh, we will also be uh, speaking with Kelly Maynard from your page. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to call her out. Angelique, we got to get together, girl. <laughs> um, you know, I don't care if it's a massage gun or a vibe plate, but you, you just have a phenomenal group, um, and your admins are as sparkly as you are. So thank you for the, the support and, and I'm happy to throw the love back your way. Okay. Love you. Thank you, Good Cheryl. You. Enjoy your Friday and enjoy having your wheels back. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> have a great bye -bye. weekend. You too.